Merry me, Toll. It is midsummer here in the southern hemisphere, and I'm just doing a very quick crafty share. And these are witch balls for my pagan tree <laughs> uh, for this midsummer. And today I'm also going to get some witch balls done for autumn's loo for when that comes around. Um, I will do some pictures of my progress of these. Um, also, I will do some pictures with them in the tree for midsummer. And I will put a link into this post for that. So, for midsummer, I have a very simple witch ball. Um, witch balls are an ethnically European tradition from ethnic Europeans. The long and short of it. There's a whole big back history here. Um, witch balls serve as a charm of capturing things that you don't want entering within your premises or hearth on home. And there's a few things we traditionally like to put in there. Um, ref things with a reflective property as well, or properties, because they act as a mirror and mirrors and shiny surfaces do act as uh, reflection quite physically but also on a, a spiritual level as well to my ethnos not all um, ethnos have the same associations um, a lot of the times Asian um, traditions or spirituality is actually a complete opposite to Western or European ethnic European so you know you need to keep all that sort of thing in mind um, I guess slight digression one of the biggest issues I have with uh, modern Wicca um, not old Wicca like old Wick is basically ethnically European um, but my biggest problem with the modern Wicca is anyone can pick from anything regardless of what race you are um, all that sort of thing totally misses the whole part of magic that it's to do with the blood of your ancestors and the more you mix it out no matter who you are the less your ancestors can speak through you and also your um, in tunement with the natural world becomes disharmonized and it's harder for you connect to connect to the natural world to tap into it as a, a magical conduit because nature is magic that's it <laughs> anyway enough of that so in these witch bowls I have one of my favorite plants my dusty silver dust or silver miller or dusty miller which is a centaurian plant um, from the uh, aster or the sunflower family one of the things I love about this plant it literally to me just looks like sea foam and it doesn't lose its beautiful white silvery property in its leaves and it's just a delight to work with um, it's up there for me with lamb's ears for the same sort of uh, coloring and properties so in my sea foam midsummer balls um, I look all year round I have pretty much botanicals inland but at midsummer, it's my time of the year where I can just dive into the deepest ocean and rest at the bottom of the deepest lock or river or waterbed. And that's where I want to reside. Whilst the heat is at its peak, I just want to be submerged in the water all the time, if I can. <laughs> I'll breathe under there if I could. Um, I was also born on the rock of Gibraltar. So I literally was born on a rock surrounded by the Mediterranean with stories of Atlantis going down not near from where I was my ancestral family my ancestral druids family the castle adders their, their links with Atlantis and also um, further up the north the Basque Basque region as well in Ireland um, Scotia as well so uh, you know I had those I had a little window of tales there told by uncles and so forth before we were carted off to London and then you know rest is history <laughs> um, so anyway these witch balls so so for me the water is absolute 
it's one of those um, elements if I'm under I can block out the rest of the world and submerge myself into another world that feels also natural to me like my home away from home if that makes any sense like I came out of there um, so what I've got in my witch balls for midsummer is very simple I have aqua glitter for the reflective properties of glitter the metal um, but I've also mixed it with my pestle and mortar into sea salt um, for this sort of thing I usually use Celtic sea salt but it doesn't have a bright white color as in classical sea salt does so I've stuck with uh, sea salt just plain sea salt in this one and I've basically smashed up the sea salt with the aqua glitter um, poured it in there and then I've got sprigs of my dusty miller or silver dust plant dried of course <laughs> and I've also added three different types of shells um, a couple you're not going to see and I've got these beautiful tall almost like unicorn shells uh, unicorn again is also another um, spirit animal um, native to Europeans ethnic Europeans um, there's a whole lot of backstory and folklore in association with unicorns and also our dragons of which druids descend reptiles castle adders the snakes white snakes um, dragons are basically an offset of well sorry reptiles and snakes are basically an offset of dragons and they're supposed to be born from the ocean <laughs> and this is where we get into the folklore tales of Meliusin who also pops up in my mother's ancestry in folklore in the the France region um, so you know this is not these things are not just some quaint little tales for anyone to adopt and appropriate or anything like no it's from my ethnos so and I'm quite proud of it and um, I'm keeping it <laughs> uh, and you know part of it also is the the love I have for the spirits and nature spirits that birthed my race unique to my people so you know it's with great love and care that I have that connection keep that connection true so having the shells within this ball and the sea salt I feel for me captures quite simplistically the energies of the ocean and the sea and you know all those things that just make my toes curl and make me go ooh, love that just you know just that without thought just that feeling um, the dusty miller is as a, a centaurian plant is actually also linked to centaurs um, and going back into again my mother's uh, or maternal ancestry my mother's uh, family or my abuela Concepcion she actually is part of the the bloodline that started the Castillo or the castle line of the southern part of Spain so Spain before it was called Spain it was called Iberia so my mother's line actually set the castle adders um, basically inhabited the southern part of Iberia to what is now Castil Castilian or Castillo and this is also where we had the bullfighting so um, the Castile part of Spain or back then Iberia is associated with bulls, viral energy, bullfighting um, all that sort of thing so there's a whole um, life, death, rebirth aspect to that and also the masculine sacrificing itself or the masculine being sacrificed um, for the protection of the land sort of thing if you like um, so for me the centaur plant not only reminds me of sea foam and the Mediterranean waters but it also is a calling to that very masculine bull energy which I personally find starts um, really showing its head at some at summer summer's Beltana and then midsummer it's just roaring it's it's almost up there with the solar energy and I know like in my father's line of paternal 
it's the the sun is associated with the feminine and the moon is associated or lunar with the masculine um, it kind of flips itself when it comes to the the Gaelic um, or Celtic for lack of better term group but the Celtic and the Gaelic actually comes out of the Norse we're of the same blood there's five races in the world and uh, so you know really there's no Gael versus Norse they come out of the Norse all Europeans or white people come out of the Norsemen um, and they can't continue their lines if they mix out because we have recessive genetics so there's nothing supremacist about wanting to preserve our own because if we don't we cease to exist we're not like the other races that can quite literally mix with each other and uh, you know still keep their look uh, we can't um, anyway enough of that <laughs> so the uh, dusty miller now the the dusty miller or sea sea foam sea dust i tend to call it as well uh, silver dust plant does have a beautiful sunny yellow flower as well it is a favorite plant of mine for decorations at midsummer for that reason i've got like the sea foam white and the beautiful buttery yellow of the flowers it's just a just a beautiful plant um it's very much like even though it looks worlds apart until you get very close to the actual flower itself and you start to notice all the similarities but it's actually um, quite close to cornflowers or what we call benjamin buttons or bachelor buttons um, in uh, european tradition so anyway that is my very simple witch ball for this midsummer and then of course what would it be without a piece of glitzy thread <laughs> <laughs> um, where do I like to hang my witch balls obviously in the tree but I also like to hang one at the back of my house and at the front of my house in the window to capture anything that is not wanted right there and then um, and to stop it in its tracks or to reflect back things that I don't want coming my way into my home and you know just oh, gotta go back to this again but doesn't the silver dust remind you of like a silver white or gray coral i just i just love that just that makes me happy so anyway i'm gonna go hang these guys and i'll do some pictures and i'll do a quick post write up with the pictures on there don't worry if it's not midsummer where you are up in the the northern hemisphere right now or if you're listening to this and you're in the southern hemisphere but it's not midsummer you can just save this uh, video or even the midsummer or letha playlist and all my i've got a playlist with just with the crafts of midsummer that i love to do that i share so you can just you know save that for that time mark it in your calendar or your diary and then when it comes your time of the year you can have a bit of fun with it make it your own tweak it here or there etc etc <laughs> um and lastly but not least um another thing i do actually like to do is sometimes most of the time at the end of the season i actually trim my hair on the full moon every month myself i take about two to three inches usually three inches i like to do three inches each time and uh yeah my hair grows out long um that quick uh and then i actually like to put my hair in my witch balls i like putting a bit of something personal in there and I know you can be kind of gross and put nail clippings if they're in there if you want. But I think hair kind of feels a bit nicer. Um, another thing I like to do of a personal note, quite literally, to put into witch balls, is I like to write a miniature or a tiny little scroll or something to do with that season or whether it's an intention or intent or the name of some ancestral spirits or spirit that I'm working with in that season and I like to put it in my witch ball as well so it's kind of it's literally like a, a reflective charm with things of personal and um, blood tied meaning 
but that's it from me and my midsummer witch ball <laughs> i hope you're keeping cool down here in the southern hemisphere it is so freaking hot and uh, yeah it's gonna be a shocker for me this coming this autumn's loo the time of the humid because i am in a location where it is extra everything <laughs> <laughs> being regional Victoria like the, the summer's hotter the winter's colder the wind is crazier everything's amped up but hey I love it blessed be merry patch